Hello everyone, I'm Bob Furlong, and this is Tech Quips number 19, make it a quiz. In the last Tech Quip, we looked at adding names and periods onto a Google form, especially when you're collecting information for a grade. We're going to make this into a little mini series over the next couple of Tech Quips. So I have the name and the period, and I created a new section, and that was by going down here and adding a section where I can now put my questions. So when I go to add a question, and I'm just going to call this question one. You would obviously put an actual question in there. And I want to make this a multiple choice question. So I'm just going to simply go to multiple choice. And one of the nice shortcuts they have in here is Google likes to guess. Oh, you want to do an ABCD multiple choice? And so it gives me this. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and just add those. Now, of course, I would then also have these different answers down. And I want to make this a required question. You can then go and add another question. Uh, I'm going to just simply duplicate this. And you would continue to make these changes to each one of your questions. Once you have all of your questions, you can simply click on the settings gear and we will want to make this a quiz simply by toggling that button over. And you can use lock mode on Chromebooks. Using this feature, uh, the students have to use a school-issued Chromebook. If they have their own device, they will not be able to take the quiz. And then you have the choice of giving their grade right away or later after you've looked at it. And then what do you want them to see? Do you want them to see which ones they got wrong? Do you want them to see the correct answers? Uh, depends. You may be not right away because you have other classes that are going to take the same quiz. So after you have made it a quiz, you now need to provide an answer key. So if you go down to the questions and I click on that question, notice it says answer key. So I'm going to say that the correct answer is A and that this is going to be worth one point. I'm going to do the same thing with question two. I'm going to click on it, choose answer key. I'm going to say the correct answer is B and give it a point. And just continue this with all of the questions. Now, one of the things that you can do is provide answer feedback. So if they get an incorrect answer, you can say, sorry, uh, try again. Uh, if they get a correct answer, you can give a little congratulations. But here's where some of the real power of this comes in. Let's say that you're using this for a formative assessment and maybe you only have one question. You want to find out, did they understand this point? What you could do is for the incorrect answer, put in a link maybe to a short reading or you can include a short video uh, that goes over this topic again. Maybe it's a video that you've created and then retake the quiz if you want them to. So there's lots of different ways that you can utilize these quizzes. Thanks for watching.